Time for another First West Foundation update. Hi, I'm Chris Waddell from Island Savings, and today I'm at the Quadra Village Community Center with Tara Scoble. Now, uh, the First West Foundation, we provided 15 uh, community endowment grants this year for nonprofit agencies such as yourself, and we're really excited. So $6,000 is going to go to your social connections for girls and boys. So tell us about this amazing program and how it's going to benefit children and their families here in Greater Victoria. Yeah, well, first off, thank you very much for the funding. Very much appreciated. Um, our girls and boys group is very important to our community. It impacts in such a healthy way. It gives kids the opportunity to learn about themselves, to learn about resources in our community, and to also learn about recreation activities that um, they might not be able to do without this program, such as um, rock climbing and tubing the Cowichan River and we went to soup potholes the other day and just had lots of fun with food and adventure. Nice. Yeah. Now, now so how many children actually benefit from this program and how long is it offered for? Um, we offer it all year round and we up to 36 to 48 youth are impacted by this program. Wow and so uh, in terms of the benefit to those youth what what, what are some of the changes you've seen with kids that you know just started the program and then by the time you know they've been in it for a little while yeah so a lot of um, gaining of social skills so friendship skills and being able to connect to the community and being able to connect to each other in a healthy way so navigating you know that weird adolescent time where you're not sure oh friends and mm -hmm. how to navigate that and so kind of like that and also personal wellness so self-worth and building their self-worth and um, being able to feel good about themselves and knowing that they deserve good things. That's awesome. Now, um, obviously, uh, with more funding, you could probably serve more children. People are interested in supporting programming such as this. How, how can they get involved? And are there other ways people can get involved as well? I know a lot of times nonprofits are looking for that in kind support. So. Yeah, we have, um, if you're interested in running any rec programs, like you belong to a paddling club or anything like that, and we can come for free or for a limited amount, that's always great. If you have like any um, like self-worth workshops and that you would like to um, present to the kids, then give me a call and let's see what we can do. Well, thank you so much for the amazing work you're doing here, and, and good luck with uh, the next batch of kids. Uh, thank you. There are going to be some lucky kids working. So. Yeah, so sending appreciation to you and all your supporters. Thank you so much for making this happen for our community. Thank you so much, Terry. Yeah.